Morning, I thought I'd show you a little bit of what's happening at the farm right now. I am still in the process of um, planting in my dahlia tubers. Um, the plants you see in the foreground were plants that I started from cutting, so those are in the ground. But I wanted to start first with the soil. So let's go to the soil here. So my soil, um, well, we're in California, we're in our third year of drought. So when I dig into my soil, sometimes it's still, it's bone dry like this. So you, you don't want to plant into soil that's bone dry like that. What you want to do is to water the soil if you're like me and get it moist. So what you're hoping for is for soil looking like this. So it's kind of slightly moist, but if you go like this and hit it with your thumb, it falls apart easily. You wouldn't want it to be dripping with water or anything like that. So um, that's the best way to start. And then next, if you have, have plants, so you're, you're doing cuttings maybe and tubers like many people are this year, um, you're like me. So you've got some plants in, you've got also tubers going in the rest of your row. So that kind of puts up a little bit of a tricky bit with watering. So for the first, say, few weeks until the dahlias have popped up, I hand water my um, cuttings and I check them, you know, pretty much every day, if not every other day. And I just dig down here and look at my soil. If my soil is looking kind of moist like this, that's really good. I don't need to water it. Um, if some of my plants are looking like this, um, some of these lower leaves are kind of shaggy and not looking great, I will just break those off and get the, give the plant less to worry about. Um, if the plant looks kind of a little bit on the paler side, that could be varietal, but it could be that this plant needs a little extra nitrogen. I might give it some Sluggo Plus, uh, not Sluggo Plus, but um, like fish emulsion or something like that, just to give it some extra extra nitrogen, maybe some straight blood meal, uh, feather meal, something like that, just a little. And I would, I would really watch the label and see what they say to do about that. Um, here's a plant that's sort of struggling. Um, it definitely has bug issues here. So if you see a leaf that looks like this and it's been chewed around the outside of the leaf, that's either slugs or snails. And then if you see holes in the middle like that, um, that is pincher bugs or earwigs right there. And then these squiggly lines are um, leaf miner. So this plant is kind of struggling. And uh, what I typically do is um, I will spray with a horticultural oil to help with some of the stuff. And then I will put down the Slego Plus for, um, for the slugs and snails on this one. I will probably also just remove these, these bad leaves. I'd like to do that and get them out of the way. Let the plant kind of reboot, have it not take care of so many big leaves and it will do just fine. So, um, and then I wanted to show you down here. So here my tubers are starting to sprout, some of them. And then some of them are empty or haven't sprouted yet. So what I do is if all the tubers around are sprouting, see all these are, these are all, have all pushed, then I will check this particular tuber and make sure that it's still viable. And why I do that, how I do that is I just sort of gently dig it up, kind of wiggle, and then it wiggles the tuber to, to the foreground or to the top of the soil. And then I would check for an eye. I thought I saw an eye on this when I planted it, but I can see now that there's not an eye there. So what I typically do is lay the tuber like that, lay my marking stick and my tag on the soil like that so that I know that I need to replace that. And what I usually do is when I'm starting um, my tubers, I also start some tubers in pots so that when I do need to pot one, take one out and uh, put a new one in, which is not that uncommon to have like 10 to 20% of your tubers have some kind of issue with rot or not growing well, or you thought there was an eye and there's not an eye. So there's so many different reasons that a tuber cannot grow well. So it's good to do a, do a fair amount of backup. And if you, if you don't end up using your backup, you can always give them to friends. And the other thing that's kind of tricky about this time of year is also watering. So um, like I said, the, the um, plants will need, need more water and the tubers will need not very much. So you can see I'm just going through and giving my plants a nice good water. Um, they look pretty good, but some of them were a little dry, so I'm gonna do that. I didn't water them yesterday, maybe not even the day before, so I'm watering right now about every every third day, maybe 
maybe every fourth day. It just kind of depends on the weather. We've had some really um, warm days. I think yesterday was 77, so it was warm here. But, you know, I just go through and give them a nice watering and then I will probably check them. So then the other thing is now this row has both tubers and plants. So I will go through and give the tubers that are sprouted some water. The ones that are still waiting, like this one here, I will try not to water it too much. Maybe just give the top a little bit of a, of a spray. And that's how I do it. That's how I do it this time of year. Have a good day.